Hello everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here with T1 Stoneforge Mystic. We actually went out shopping today and we picked up something special. First of all, it is game day, so go dogs. I'm a UGA alumnus, so shout outs to the Georgia Bulldogs. And then we found at an antique mall some of these. Now, if you have no idea what these are, it's my understanding, if what I've been told is true, that these are Burger King, you used to be able to get them in Burger King Happy Meals. They are, according to the front, 23 karat gold-plated trading cards inside of here. Now this one, uh, spoiler alert, I don't know how good the resolution is for you, it has been opened a little bit, but if I take the box up, the Pokeball inside of it has not been opened. And for this one, I'm actually going to show you what it looks like. So this is an unboxing video. This one is sealed. This one hasn't been opened yet. And we're not we're not going to change that, sort of. You'll, you'll see in a second. So they had six in this cycle. They had Pikachu. Can you set that one down, please? Stoneford, T1 Stoneforge Mystic? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason I need you to set that down is that we have more coming. We have more. We have a Mewtwo one. <laughs> Oh, we're, let's set this one right here. We have Mewtwo. Good old Mewtwo, right? And, by the way, the, the pictures on the side show... I don't know if you, can, if you can see them well enough, what they look like if you open them up. And we're not opening up the Pikachu. We're also not opening up the Mewtwo, but we are getting around to one that we will open soon. So this is... I mean, cover my face. If I'm going to cover one of us, it might as well be my face. There we go. Uh, cover, there we go, Mewtwo. Next we get hey, to... Hey, face too. <laughs> yours too. Next we're going to do T1 Stoneforge Mystic's favorite Pokemon in the whole game. Who's that? Jigglypuff. It's Jigglypuff. Can you show them Jigglypuff, please? Mm -mm. Oh, there's Jigglypuff. Mm -mm. Let's share a bit, please. We're going to show... Then you're going to have it back. There's Jigglypuff mm -mm. on there. <laughs> And let me tickle it out from your hands. Oh, with something collectors. <laughs> Letting it collectors. It's opened. I want and it. This is what it looks like Ooh. when you have it nice and up close. That's what it'll look like inside. And now you can have it. Now you can hold it. And now, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Jigglypuff, all of those are pretty iconic, right? And then, Poliwhirl, for some reason. I have no idea. I guess it's cute. Polyworld's cute. So there we are. Closer shot. And then, woo, woo. Let me let me show them what it looks like first, please. There's the, ooh, the gold card. Know. And now, oh, let me see if I can. Uh, you you can probably find a still shot, but she's hold, she's pulling my hand. It's not working. It's not working. Uh, Evangeline, let me hold still. Hold still for just a second. Freeze. Freeze. Woo. Oh. <laughs> This is not working. This is not working. I need you to hold still. Hold still so they can so they can pause and not have a blurry little picture. Oh, oh dear. I got this. I got this. She can play with my foot. Alright, close enough. There we go. Now. We did those. Alright, and then lastly, this is not actually the last one. You'll notice on the side of the box. It shows that there are six. They give numbers for five of them, and then there's Togepi. Togepi had not actually been released by this point, because, as we can see on the bottom, the last copyright year that you see on here is 1999. Well, you know, <laughs> Togepi hadn't been, as far as I'm aware, I, I think Togepi was in the anime at the time, but wasn't actually officially released yet. And so... Uh, we only have five of them. We don't have Togepi, but then there leaves that leaves just one. And if you paused earlier, you saw what that last one might be, and that is Charizard. Here we go, Charizard. Now Charizard's a little bit different because this one already is open, so I don't mind unboxing this one all the way. Hey, would you like to help me with this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's she's had her lap around the room. All right. And actually, for this one, Can I don't... Can I please help you with yes. this one? Yes. I don't suppose I have to show you the up-close because we're going to actually show you the up-close. So, without any further ado, 
this is what it looks like over here. All right, so uh, this is the box. I've just opened it for you all. And as you can see, the plastic on this one is open now, unfortunately. Yeah, and then the that's on, on the box. Yep, okay. Pikachu. And all. all right, so we get it out. Now, little cardboard piece on the bottom. Let me open it nice and slowly for you. Get that ASMR sounds with it. She's just gonna operate the main camera. I'm gonna, or the, that oh, face camera. Go for I know, right? This one's all shiny. All right, so it has a little stand on the bottom. Thankfully, you see one, two, three. Four. <laughs> four. There's a four in there too, is there? All right, and now we'll open it on up. All right, pressed it. Look at that. We're the first ones to see this. T1 Stone Forge Mystic. We're the first ones to see that. Do you want to take a closer look? Uh-huh. All right. Now that is, according to the box, a 23 carat Charizard card. Now, you can hold it nice and gently because before I show that one up close, I want to show this card. This is a certificate of authenticity. It says, Pokemon Special Edition 23 carat gold plated trading card, number six. Charizard. Charizard. All right. Officially licensed by Nintendo. Da, 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 da. A limited edition. I'm reading the name of the chairman of Nintendo of America at, in 1999, upside down. Let me zoom it in for you. So there you are. That's what it looks like. Now, it does have something on the back as well. It says, Pokemon gonna catch them all. I'm gonna, th you're gonna have an easier time reading this than I am, actually. This Pokemon Special Edition 23 Carat Gold Plated Trading Card has been produced to the highest standards for Nintendo of America. And then there's a uh, an asterisk there that get leads that we could put in a Burger King Happy Meal. Or Burger King, they're not called Happy Meals if they're Burger King toys, right? <laughs> That's McDonald's. Oops, I just now realized that. It is made from the highest quality alloy to ensure lasting value, Can long I life, yeah. Oh, so, uh, sure. And beauty, we suggest that it remain in the clear cover in which it was delivered. No promises on that. Fingerprints and exposure to weather will cause the superb finish to tarnish. Okay. Yes. 1999. Where is my grapes? <laughs> you can eat some grapes while we're doing this. Here you go. Right. And that'll actually be good Jay? because that'll give me a chance to Jay, show Jay, you. Jay, Jay. A T1, I need to work on this, please. Evangeline? Mm, no. This one I need you definitely not to pull on because this one is very special and it doesn't look all that thick, so we don't want to break it. Now, I want it, I want it. someone who's a little bit more cautious, you can have it in just a minute, someone who's a little more cautious mm. might not take it out of this, but I <laughs> play Glistener Elf in Magic the Gathering, so caution is not my middle name. <laughs> Can you see on the main camera what she's trying to do to me? She's trying to yank it out. She's pulling really, really hard. Uh, uh, All right, you want to help me? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, I'm going to slowly take the lid off. Okay. To the shine. I'm going to very slowly pop it off. I take my grape. Okay, okay. I was about to hand that to you, but uh, if you're going to handle food, that's probably not a good idea. Okay. I should also, before I have done that, Ooh, it's in my hand. I should have shown you what the back looked like. So here's the back first then, I suppose. Zoom in and take a nice, good look at that. If what it said is true, 23 karat gold. Uh, cover. It's certainly not the whole thing, to be clear. Oh, that's pretty sick. This actually makes me want to open the rest of them. But I'm going to do my best and refrain. I'm going to do my best. All right. So then we'll put you back in. Okay. And then we'll put this lid on top of it. Evangeline, this thing is almost 20 years old. Yeah. Oh. Now, you can hold it inside of its case if you want. Uh <coughs> 
<laughs> I love how I just know to react to that. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed that. We should probably... Oh, one other thing I wanted to point out real quick is that... Well, actually, I'll show you on this camera. I absolutely Art. did that on accident. I, I believe you. And um, I'm going to put this back. Okay. So no, I want it. <laughs> inside, you'll notice that there's a stand. It looks like these pieces can come out. And in fact... I want it. I want it. Oh, they do come out. And I'm going to put them right back where they were. I want it. I want it. I want it. I just need it not to break, please, Evangeline. That would not be good. Now, we'll close up I the Pokeball. I want it. Like I this. Want it, I and want now, it. you can have it. You can have the Pokeball. Or, it's probably... Oh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> Silly Jay. Silly Jay forgot something. Oh, <laughs> I guess I did get the standoff after all. I'm supposed to do this. I may be a little bit distracted, but that's all right. I think it's a-okay here. I can see where these go. There are these little openings in the side, and they fit into pegs down here. And then once we have those, we put the certificate and the card back on the stand, close the ball up, put the ball in the plastic, put the plastic in the box, and then, invariably, we give this to Evangeline after we're done recording. So I that... Wanted, I want a Pokeball. So that whatever shattering not, is done... Not in, in the plastic. ...isn't on camera. Not in the plastic. Okay. What do we say? Please. May I get a hug? Mm-mm. No? I don't get a hug for giving you your own Pokemon? Mm -mm. And a Charizard, too. Can I get a hug for giving you a char for giving you a Charizard? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Here's our tickle and, kiss. And the one for getting and a kiss for getting Jigglypuff. <gasps> oh, I get a kiss for giving you Jigglypuff. Yeah. Thank you. Can I get a kiss? Please. Oh, oh, I'm giving you a kiss. Can I get a kiss? No. My cheek is waiting. My no. cheek is waiting. You can do it for Chalk, um, Pikachu, and that Puck one, and Jigglypuff. So what I'm getting from this is that I get to give you a tickle kiss for every Pokemon I give you, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it? I gave you 151 kisses. Don't ask me to do it all the way through current gen. I refuse. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Ready? You can tell this collector's item, I care about it so much that I'm letting my three-year-old play with it. Alright, I guess that's it for now then. Thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you later. No, what about the other ones? Oh, those were not going to be opening all the way like we did with the Charizard, because the Charizard one was already partially open.
Actually, all of them were partially open, but not the plastic. All right. One more thing I wanted to show them. Okay. What's the one more thing? Ta-da! Ta-da! She has her Pokeball. Ta-da! Oh. Now I'm moving. Don't bounce. Oh, let's not bounce that. Let's not bounce that. Let's cut this video before we shatter something. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm. One more tickle kiss. Take a kiss. Take a kiss me. Okay. Let's put this back up so I can tickle kiss you all the way. Um, in my arms. Here comes the belly tickle kiss. Oh, 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 my hair got caught. Maybe not. She's got my nose. Picking my nose. Are you picking my nose? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I got your nose. Are you done? Yeah.